her most common seizure is a head drop. Her head will drop every three to five seconds. And it could last for 30 minutes. If I'm stretching it to one head drop every five seconds, that's 12 seizures a minute. At 12 seizures a minute for 30 minutes, that's between 400 and 700 seizures if her seizure only lasts 30 minutes. The other day, we stopped counting it over a thousand, and we weren't even halfway through the day. Hey, what do we have to do for Naya? Take the medicine. And what's her medicine called? Reach. Or? Minamina. And what does it do? Stop her seizures. Stops her seizures. And where's her boo-boo at? Right there. It's not easy here like it is in Colorado for a child to go to the doctors and get medication. <laughs> The medication that she give, she takes now, the FDA approved medication that she takes, has a serious side effect of depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts. So for a 10 year old that can't speak, to tell you that she's having suicidal thoughts is just beyond unbelievable that that would even be allowed to be one of her medications. It's very hard to watch her seize and suffer and see that she's in there and when I say that, I mean, she has a little personality. She is able to occasionally verbalize what her needs and wants are, very rarely, but she is able to do so once in a while. And to watch her suffer um, when we know that there's something that can help her is devastating. She cries, and she's in pain, and she hurts. She seizes nonstop in the morning. Are you okay, Mommy? It's okay. As sad as it is to say, you know, we don't know if her last seizure will be today. Um, there is no long term. We know the long term side effects of what she's on, and I know the side effects that she's had from the medications in the last 10 years almost prevented her from having a long term. We have tried every medication, every surgery, except for corpus callosotomy, which is severing the brain in two and hoping that it rewires itself. We decided to take her to Colorado. Be careful. Here. <laughs> when we heard about medical marijuana, of course I was a little bit leery and started researching and looking into it and following people that um, are using it on their children in legal states, even some that have used it in illegal states. And we noticed that the common denominator was it worked for everyone. She talked her first sentence. She usually is only doing like one or two words at a time. She put a five word sentence together within the first five hours of being on it and walked up a set of 14 steps by herself with no assistance, no help. I actually caught her walking up the steps and hurried up and just pulled my phone out. It was my first reaction, like she's walking up the steps. Um, she usually can't walk five, 10 feet without falling and having a seizure. I got you. You did it. You did it. The cannabis itself has been a blessing. I've never seen any medication in all these years work for her as fast and as consistent as medical marijuana. It's not even like a big t teaspoon that she has to swallow. It's literally like enough to fit on my finger, just like six drops. She got her first dose and we didn't, I kind of played the skeptic. Let's see what happens. She fell asleep. A few hours later, she woke up and she didn't seize for the first time in 10 years. That was just unbelievable to us. It's immediate relief for these children. Um, I didn't think that it would significantly work as fast as it did within the first hour of her having it, but it was, it was nothing short of amazing. Um, after starting the oil, school immediately contacted us and told us that she had, what did we do different? She has something different. She's not sleeping all day. She's interacting, she's playing, she's saying more words, um, she's happy and they didn't see any seizures. So after a while, we did tell them what was happening. Right when we came home from Colorado, I had detectives call me. We had problems with school. We had problems with detectives. They said they were going to put me in prison and take my kids and put them with child care. We were willing to take that risk to let people know that we tried it here illegally, and it worked. 
and we knew all this time that she was in there, but she's finally starting to come out. Just the other day, we were watching TV, and One Direction came on, and I, she like got flushed, <laughs> like flushed red in her face. And I looked at her, I'm like, oh my God, you like them? And she like, she giggled and like hit her her face in her hands, and she, she never had emotion like that. So I know that she likes boys now, and I'm like, oh God. Hey, hi everybody. You want a snack? I got popcorn. Oh. Popcorn, you want to check something else out? Look oh, at this. she's getting up for popcorn. Oh. She's enjoying, she's actually finally enjoying life. She was literally like a zombie last year. She was, before this medication, she was, she was unable to feel pain. She was unable to feel happiness. She was just constantly, she was like a vegetable. But she's in there, and I know she's in there now because she's finally starting to come out of it. Beautiful ending to day one on cannabis oil, CBD oil. Antonia started her medication, ironically, at 4.20 p.m. today <laughs> on the 16th. It is now the night of the 16th, or oh, into the 17th. It's after 12 o'clock, I believe. And for the first time in 10 years, Antonia has, has not had one seizure, not one.